Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It is Wednesday, December 22nd. I'm Sean Coffey. Logan joins us now with a check of the forecast. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Sean. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Temperatures today are starting off into the 20s and 30s. Winds are still pretty light, but we are going to see these kind of picking up, especially as we go later into this morning and into this afternoon. Those winds will be out of the north and west, sustain anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour with some locally higher gusts. These winds will start to slowly relax as we go into tonight. Still a little bit breezy. Today with your eyewitness weather forecast, clouds and sunshine, Stray flurry, perhaps a snow shower, but windy with that northwest wind. Temperatures reaching into the upper 30s to right around 40. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Thursday will be dry for us. We'll look for a partly to mostly cloudy sky. A few flurries, perhaps a snow shower for Thursday night. Temperatures on Thursday during the day into the mid 30s. For Friday, for Christmas Eve, we're dry, but we will look for a few rain showers into Friday night into Saturday, Sean. Temperatures into the mid 40s. All right, Logan, thank you. We're following new developments this morning. State police say a Hazelton police officer is locked up on charges related to a burglary at the same home authorities are investigating an explosion at in Schuylkill County. That explosion happened Tuesday morning on Center Street in Klein Township. A man was taken to the hospital with injuries. State police arrested 31 year old Liddell Hannon on charges including burglary and theft. Now troopers say in October Hannon went to that home on Center Street and stole items. State police learned about the burglary while investigating the explosion. Troopers ruled that explosion was an attempted homicide, and Hannon is locked up in the Schuylkill County Prison on those burglary charges. An active investigation into the explosion is still underway. An Omicron variant case has been detected at Penn State Main Campus. Penn State's Testing and Surveillance Center identified the case at University Park as they test for and monitor the variant. Right now, the university only requires employees to get the vaccine. Penn State is planning on making a decision on whether next semester will start virtually by the end of the month. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. But for the latest, visit our website.